Hey mate, good afternoon. Welcome to the virtual tour. On the clue you got the chewing quiet on this virtual tour, I'll be going through all the interior and exterior of this car. Pointing out any scarf marks or any marks that needs to be noted at first point of sale. Starting with the front of the car. Nice big headlights, blinkers, fog lights there as well. LED driving lights there just on the bottom. I will point out there's a few little minor stone chips which you will inspect, I actually expect the car being this this age as well to have a little bit of general wear and tear. But overall condition, not too bad at all. Work your way up. A couple of stone chips here as well, nothing too major. But the clear coat on the vehicle there is still in immaculate condition. Just a few little marks there. I will point out on the bonnet. Also just here as well, just a little minor one. Look, as I said, it is Obviously a pre-owned car after all. Windscreen there as well. There's no chips, no crack or anything at all whatsoever. Zoom out from this angle here. Work your way down. Just a few little stone chips there. Again, nothing too major. No dings or anything like that at all. Full size spare, oh, sorry, full size spare, my apologies. Well, you got the brand new tire on the front there as well. Genuine alloys, and there are an 18 inch alloy there as well. Work your way down, color coded mirrors, blinkers, nice chrome finish in the door trims, door handles as well, they are color coded. Roof there as well, all in really, really good condition. Back door. Fuel cap obviously on this side, back tyre, same thing, genuine alloys. Close to new, new condition in the back there as well for the tyre. A few little marks here. Look, not, not too bad at all for the for the age and the condition of the vehicle. Nice little spoiler, brake light there as well on the back. Big brake lights, blinkers, rear sensors in the vehicle there as well. Reverse camera just there. No chips, no crack on the glass there as well, which is great to see. Open it up like so. As you can see, massive, massive boot space. It is obviously in your seven seater. The seat's still got enough space here as well, even with the seat up. Cup holders on each side, still got plenty of space there as well. I have moved the one forward to see if they have a little bit more leg room than this side here all the way back. But air vents all the way through to the rear as well so all the all the kids or all the passengers that are sitting in the vehicle have their own air vent which is great to see now the seats just drop down like so if you don't need the extra seats and again the extra large boot space there as well for the back close it up work your way down Baking away back to the front of the car just to give you that full 360 view and then I will make my way inside the interior very very shortly so there's your full 360 view of the vehicle make my way inside the car now speakers cup holders power windows nice bit of cloth trim on the door handles there as well as you can see the seats are reclinable push it back there as well if needs be nice big three seater in the middle you also can separate them as well if needs be with the cup holder in between leg room there is plenty of leg room space in the Klugers temperature there as well you've got your fan speed there as well for the back which is great again roof lining you've got the air vents all the way through to the rear and middle Driver side door now. 
speakers, cup holders, power windows, mirrors, central locking, all in there for you. Two seater on the front. Just a little bit of general wear and tear here. I will point out it is the most well used part of the vehicle. Obviously the driver's going in and out all the time. Just a little bit of general wear and tear there. Dash, all in really good condition there as well. I will point out is there is there's a little mark here on the floor. Just a little minor one on the carpet. Might be just be get a floor mat just to cover it through from there, but I just wanted to point that out. As I said, I'm trying to be as transparent as I can as possible. Don't want any surprises on delivery or on pickup. Dash mat there, genuine from factory. All neat and tidy there as well. Windscreen, no chips, no crack or anything at all whatsoever. All right. Actually, it might be just be a little one just here, but it has been got a resin around it, if you can see it. There is a resin on that one there. Over here, central locking. Now, I've only got the one key for the vehicle, so I'm only advertising the car with the one key, but if the second set does arrive from the previous owners, I will post it to you. I'll let you know to come and collect the vehicle if needs be, but currently I've only got the one key that has been purchased with the car, so I can only provide you the one key with the vehicle, okay? Over here, services that I can show. Alright, so 10,000k was done, okay. 20,000 there was done. 30 might have got missed. 40 was done. 50,000 there was done. 60 was done. 80 was done. And 90, I think 70 and 80 got done at the same time. Yes, it got done by us. There we go. 70 and 80 got done. So, one service missed out of the whole lot, which is not too bad at all. Very well maintenance and well up to date, which is great to see. Over here, give the car a quick start. Close the door. Start up screen. Eighty-one thousand k's in the clock. There's no warning lights. Warning lights. Besides my handbrake, my seatbelt. Now that flickering in the video, it's not. It's actually just on my screen. The car itself is perfectly fine. It's just the light picking up from my phone here. You've also got different displays there as well. Settings. Just have a click of a button here as well. Cruise control there. Airbag and horn. Bluetooth, voice commands, all in there. Volume, next track or station. Another steering wheel all the way around. Automatic headlights, blinkers, and wipers are on this side. So very, very easy to use. Over here, nice big four air vents. Nice little partial shelf here as well. You've also got down here a phone charger. 12 or power point there as well. You can clip push it through and keep your phone in there if needs be. Aircon, temperature, all in there for you. Very, very easy to use. CD player still there, FM, AM, Bluetooth all in there for you. Volume buttons are there. Reverse camera also there as well, which is great to see. Okay. Hazard lights. You've also got the fogs, the misters for rear and front and rear. Okay. Automatic transmission. Again, very easy to use. Cup holders. And you will notice a massive, massive center console on the vehicle there. Okay. Plenty of space. Here also you've got the owner's manual and your service history booklet as I mentioned prior. All in there. I will put them back in the glove box for you. Just gonna pop the engine bay. Just to see it here, no funny texts or noises. Very clean and tidy. Just a few little marks there on the battery that's only something for corrosion just a bit of spray they put on there for you very clean and tidy there no kind of ticks or noises all right so there you have your virtual tour on a 2016 kluger i hope you enjoy and i'll talk to you soon thank you